Glory be to God. Welcome again to another privilege of fellowship. We are glad to be here with you. And we thank you for again giving us space to fellowship together. And um, we want to say, may it not be in vain again in Jesus' name. Um, today, through to Thursday 25th, this recording is for Monday 32nd to Thursday 25th. And the topic is prayer 202. Friends, we are in a season and time that we need prayer. In fact, 1 Timothy chapter 2, 1 and 2 says, First of all, prayer must be made for all men. All men. All women. All children. Then they say we have to pray for leaders. So at this time, all over the world, there's a need to pray for all men. You see, if you don't pray for your neighbor, your neighbor can become agitated and be your problem. If you don't pray for the ne- for the driver driving you, you can if you might have an accident. All manners of things are happening all over the world now, and we need God's intervention. Let us pray. Daddy will thank you. We are grateful for what you are doing all over the world at this time. And it is your desire that we invite you in. The Bible says you, are, you enjoy it, you are glorified when we call you to help us. So, O oh Lord, as we discuss on prayer together, please, Lord, show mercy and help us as individuals, as family, as people, as nations, and the entire universe in Jesus' name. No, Lord, as we fellowship now, please speak to us yourself. Let your mind be made known, even concerning praying. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So, friends, and we're going to take our test from Jesus' recommendation. Please join me as I read from the contemporary English version. And I'm going to, if there's any need to read any other, I will let you know. But I'm reading from the contemporary English version. And I'm reading our test, which is Luke 11, 2 to 4. Luke 11, 2 to 4. Everything you ask for in prayer will be yours if you only ask, if you only have faith. Whenever you stand up to pray, you must forgive what others have done to you. Then your Father in heaven will forgive you your sins. Wow. Sorry, I was reading a wrong one. I was reading something else. Luke 11, I was reading Mark 11. Luke 11, 2 to 4, say, So Jesus told them, Pray in this way, Father, help us to honor your name. Come and set up your kingdom. Give us each day the food we need. Number 4, verse 4, rather. Forgive our sins as we forgive everyone who has done wrong to us. And keep us from being tempted praise the lord now i've read the test i'm supposed to read after um this mark 11 from 24 to 26. now if you look at mark 11 24 to 26 talk about number one you must ask number two you must have faith when you are asking number three whatever you ask you must believe that god will do it for you and number four you must forgive so that god can forgive you now if you look at jesus's contest of prayer Honoring God, believing God is almighty, believing that he can answer us, and having faith in his capacity to answer us, forgiving other people. That's just it. Most people don't get results to their prayer because they don't have these ingredients. And somebody was saying that how the prayer will be praying. You don't even believe in the prayer and the praying for those to make that statement. Because if you believe in prayer, you're praying. The Bible says clearly, after you have done what you should do, you say you need patience. So if you believe in the prayer you are praying, there is a time for everything under the sun. And the Bible says, and I read to us, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16 and 17. And I'd like you to put this in your heart throughout this week. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 17. Look at what it says. He says, always be joyful. No matter what is happening. In fact, that joyfulness shows that you believe God will intervene. And the, and the 17 says, and never stop praying. Remember that as you go this week. And may God answer your prayer. God bless you.